I don't know if someone else wants to take an arm. Someone else I can do it. All right, well, we can just get started and see how it goes. Uh, sure. If we don't finish, no problem. Yeah, yeah. so um, I guess like the, the big thing is maybe there's some, <clears throat> maybe there's some like apprentices or adepts in here who are interested in discussing the topic in more detail, um, or maybe if Insup is around and able to carry out the debate. But so you've read, you've read the name of the trade argument, right? You have that available. Uh, not really. Okay. Well, I think I get the well, point, well, yeah, but it, I don't know, like, a specific essay. Oh, there's no essay. There's just, uh, it's just like a, a modus ponens. So, the argument, and it's in a, in a much simpler form than the, the form that SSL presents for a wider audience, is just that if you're unable to name a trait that is different between the animal and the human that would confer a difference in moral evaluation, then your moral evaluation ends up containing a contradiction. Um, yeah, yeah. So, I agree. so you're going to have to name some kind of trait that's true of the animal that, if true of the human, would justify killing it in the same way that we do. Yeah. So, what kind of things might you posit for that, do you think? Intelligence. Just simply intelligence. Yeah, so in my view, intelligence is a binary trait. Um, like either you have it or you don't. But also uh, within that, if you have it, like some people are better at using it, they have more knowledge, so they come off as smarter. So that's why wait, people wait, wait, see so, intelligence wait, differences just, among just... humans. Right, okay, so <sighs> what's a binary trait? So like what <laughs> what do you mean by it then so it's it, it is binary but what else could you point to at it so for example like um what what is it that gives something intelligence versus something that doesn't have it that isn't just pointing to examples if that's possible yeah the trait is the ability to create knowledge the ability to learn okay. which is done by evolution of ideas within the mind Okay, so there's some, there's some, what seems to be some rather private uses of some words going on here, but I, I kind of think I get what you mean. You just think that it's, they're capable of like using some kind of rationality? Uh, that's the rough idea. Right, okay. Do you think that there are some humans that are incapable of this, or is this a thing that is true of all humans? I think it's true of approximately all humans, but there are cases like uh, people in a long-term coma where we can have doubts. Right, but like, so for example, like what about someone with like encephaly or like someone that's like severely mentally disabled? Like for example, um, I don't know if someone wants to post like a Brie video, for example, do you think that someone like Brie is consistent with these views? Uh, so I watched a Brie video the other day. Right. My general impression, if the evidence is correct, is it Brie did not look intelligent. Okay, but so, so, uh, I so, think so Brie's just... mother is an, un uh, an unreliable source. Right, wait, but just just to be clear, you think that like it would be fine to do the kinds of things that we do to female cows to breathe? If someone can just post like some photos of the kinds of things that we do to female cows, and then a photo of Brie next to that, I just want that juxtaposition before we move on. I want I want him to agree with that juxtaposition. Okay, so assuming uh, Brie is not intelligent and the evidence is roughly accurate, even though it's not uh, scientifically documented, we have an unreliable narrator, etc. Then. In principle, it's okay. However, it's hard to tell what's intelligent right. or not in borderline cases. Right, but, and... but, right, right, but, but just, just to be clear, I think that you're, you're sort of doing a dodge there, which I'm not going to allow for the moment. I, I want you to just agree for the moment that the person in the video we just posted there is the kind of person where it's okay to do the kinds of things we do to female cows. And, and if, if, if it's not the case that that's okay, then we need to figure out what is it that makes it 
not uh, not okay to do that to her. But if it is okay, I mean, I guess it's just sort of... I think it's okay in principle if we were confident enough, but I think the science is not far enough along to be sure that when we have human genes, there isn't intelligence because we know human genes are capable right. of creating wait, intelligent but, wait, but So what, what is specific about human genes versus, say, something like cow genes? Well, in the vast majority of cases, human genes create an intelligent mind, whereas we've never seen an intelligent cow. So that's why I'd be careful when there are human genes involved. Right. I mean, we could be careful in that sense, but <clears throat> it seems like it's just some kind of special pleading at this point, though. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in why or what you could do to differentiate between like, a cow mind and a brie mind. Like, for example, if I didn't give you access to seeing what species they were, I didn't give you access to, say, um, looking at like another physical form, so you couldn't easily tell that one is a certain kind of species or whatever. Like anything that would allow you to pick out their, their species route. If I just gave you, you know, an interface with their mind, <clears throat> you know, whether you're talking to them or you have like a list of like their behavior, you know, written out for you, like what might you select out of yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. No, I gonna, agree with that. rescue brief. I'm not trying to differentiate brief from a cow in principle. I'm just saying because of scientific limitations, uh, we should be careful in certain limited cases. So, for example, I think a lot of people believe Helen Keller was not intelligent, and it turned out they were wrong. So we have to be careful about that kind of judgment. Right, but but what, why are we being careful in the human case, but not in the cow case? What's the... Because... Like, 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 no, no, no. Like, 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 <clears throat> the point is, is that you've accepted readily that, as far as behavior is concerned, there's a symmetrical case between, you know, brie and between cows. And in fact, there was a moment where you seemed to be willing to accept that it's okay for me to like sy uh, systematically rape and torture and kill brie. Um, but then there was this moment where you say that no, we have to be careful in the human case. But as I pointed out, we can get to places where uh, I've removed all of your capacity for knowing that Brie is a human and this other object is a cow. And all I would be giving you is a set of their behavior, the, the ways in which we can interface with their mind. And so what you need to do is be able to give me some property or some symmetry breaker between uh, the Brie case and the cow case or the cow case. And in fact, just a very, very large percentage of people um, who have a very, very, very simple behavior. Otherwise, right. We're, right, otherwise, otherwise, right, you're, well, all that you're doing here is just a form of special pleading. Right, so I do not have a in-principle symmetry breaker between right, the but, hypothetical but, but, what, of what we're assuming what, what is and the cow. Like, so so, 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 so one, one thing that you've done a few times in this debate is you keep on saying sort of, an, you sort of use this like term as like in-principle. Um, and to me, it's sort of like hand waving away the fact that you're very much in a sticky situation here. I mean, we can start talking about how you act or how your intuitions are leaning for the moment, but, but really, I think the, the principle is what's interesting. And so if you can't confer a principle, like again, you're just really, when you say in principle, I can't do that, but that is just to concede that you're doing a level of, um, of uh, special pleading. You do need an in, in principle so, symmetry breaker, or else you're running a huge risk here in your view. Yeah, the problem, if you don't understand this, Kiri, a bunch of people have walked you through this, I and you do. seem to you seem to really have trouble wrapping your head around it. So I'm just going to say it once, nice and clearly for you. Okay, what you're doing is you're giving an answer in principle, which is a dodge, right? You're saying in principle the symmetry breaker would be this. But in practice, you're actually making the differentiation, so there should be one that you know of. So saying, oh, in principle it would be this, doesn't explain to us what you're using in practice to differentiate from uh, between the two cases. So what is it that you're using there? Okay, so legal systems and philosophy often don't match and shouldn't match. There are different standards for how we design laws. Well, that's just a complete and dodge. How we think about it things just doesn't answer when you ask him things. So what's the answer, Curie? The answer to what? Like philosophy or legal? Well, did you not? <coughs> well, I guess I'll let Bryn talk. 
We, we've said Fuck the same thing to you repeatedly, though. You're just not <laughs> tracking the question. You're answering in principle. That's a red herring. We're not asking you what in principle it would be. In practice, you're right. making the differentiation. So what is the basis for that? That's the question. Right. Right, we're not we're not asking, we're not asking for in principle philosophical. Uh, yeah, and what I suggest in principle legal view, we're asking for your view. And right? and what I would suggest doing here, Bryn, is like sometimes <clears throat> when someone keeps making the same error, you need to give the error a label so you can just reference it every time they make it. Just call it the in principle dodge every time he does it. Is how I right. would handle it. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's just we're not looking for some kind of like obscure philosophical principle. We're not looking for a legal principle. We're looking for what it is that you are using as a practical symmetry breaker when you choose to, you know, consume cow flesh rather than brie flesh. So as I was saying earlier, human genes usually create intelligence and it is hard to tell whether there is intelligence in someone like Helen Keller before she learned to communicate. I don't think that he understands what it means to answer a question. We might need to do like a lesson on like Look, how to answer so a question. In principle means if we have all the information, if we know what there's the situation the in, is in detail. There's the in principle dodge. That's the in principle right. dodge. We're not interested in that. So when you set up a hypothetical, like hypothetically suppose the situation is X, then you can be very confident. You know exactly what the situation is. So you You're can just rambling. You're just rambling. You're being In you're act. being either either curry, either you're stupid or you're dishonest. You're dodging the question. Do you have an answer to the question or not? What symmetry breaker are you using in practice? In practical situations, there's uncertainty, right? So that's different than analyzing that's not an a answer. hypothetical. That's not an answer. It, look, is that correct? look, what? No, I'm asking, I'm, asking, you I'm asking you a question, Curie. What is the symmetry breaker that you're using in practice? Don't try I'm to answer in principle. Don't try to dodge by asking a question, right? So what's the answer to that? I'm not using a symmetry breaker in practice. Symmetry breakers or are for intellectual theory. <laughs> well, wait, then you're just going to have to say your practical behavior is irrational. Is that what you're laughing at, Bryn? Yeah, <laughs> because we already explained to you what we mean yeah, by symmetry breaker, or... which is just your which is just your practical consideration. Yeah, you're you're, you're just you're just you're, <laughs> you're just you're just saying. If you're not using a practical consideration in practice, it's just like literally just saying I'm not I'm not engaging in well, considerations well, when I do practice. If right. X and Y are different, but you're not sure whether you're looking at an X or Y, then your behavior. Is going to relate to your uncertainty, not just the difference between X and Y. You're just rambling. I don't think I look. I don't know if you're dishonest or if you're dumb, but you're being asked a question. You don't have an answer to it. Okay, we're asking you in practice. What is the symmetry breaker that you're using? Do you have an answer to that question or not? If you say I'm not using a symmetry breaker, then it's very hard to. I mean, then what? What do we result? What's the result then, Bryn? Do we get to then he's behaving irrationally because he's somehow he's yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Then it doesn't even we can't even really account for your actions right. it's like how are you even treating no, no, no one second no no i understand it now it's how are you even treating a cow and a human differently if you're not making yeah. some kind of differentiation then we can't account for your action anymore right okay look, and, and in, in fact in times, fact i think we can also derive a contradiction there i think we're going right. to yeah, we're we're gonna, gonna be able to we would be able to we're going to we're going to be able to do some yeah okay well i in fact i can take a minute to think out just how to spell okay. out the our human too. genes a you're trying no stop See, wait but wait 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 but what you're trying to do you're being so, so weaselly you're trying to ask questions that don't need to be answered in order for you to give an answer to the question just in order to avoid answering it so let's start with this 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 right let's start with this do you is there a symmetry breaker in practice I gave this human gene. Is there? Is there? Is there? Is, the there is is there a symmetry breaker in practice? Human genes. Okay, so I'll take that as a yes, right? And then the follow-up question is, what is it? And you're saying that it's human genes, right? Okay, so we can proceed from there. I'm sorry, I kind of stole it from Brian. I'll pass it back. 
no, I don't really have the time to debate right now anyways. Um, if someone else wants to pick it up. Otherwise, well, I can keep going until I have I, to sort of go. Well, I mean, he's just he's just contradicting himself. There's a symmetry breaker. There's not a symmetry breaker. You know, it's it's intelligence. It's genes. It's there this, are it's different that. types of symmetry. <laughs> we're, 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 <laughs> do you understand what the asymmetry is that we're concerned with here? There's more than one relevant kind of asymmetry. You're not answering. Listen, dude. Instead of just saying fucking sentences when someone talks to you, actually interact. If you're going to yell at me, I'm not actually, talk with you. Actually, you're just a yelling hey, profanity. Do I do I have to use priority push to talk when I'm speaking to you? When someone asks you a fucking question, Curie, answer the question okay, instead. And well, I'll pass it back to Bryn, but I'll just say this finally, okay? When someone asks you a fucking question. What you want to do is you want to take that thing they've said and interact with it. Provide a reply to it. Don't ask a question in response. Don't say a random unrelated sentence. Fucking interact with the person talking to you. You got pinned in a corner. You initially said there's, well, you tried to dodge a bunch of times by talking about a symmetry breaker in principle, which no one's asking what the symmetry breaker would be. We're asking what you are using in practice. Then you said there isn't one. Then you said there is one when we point out that then, well, that's, we're not even going to be able to account for your behavior. How are you even, how is it the case that you're even separating a cow and a human in terms of treatment if there's no symmetry breaker? And in fact, that's a contradiction because we just take the symmetry breaker to be the thing that accounts for the separation and treatment, right? So that's going to be a contradiction. Then you contradicted yourself again by saying, oh, actually, there is a symmetry breaker in practice and it's genes. So we've got two contradictions and a bunch of dodge, a bunch of dodges. So you've been pretty fucking fucked here, but I'll, I'll let Bryn finish. I'm just getting annoyed with you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just from the outset, um, of course, there are different kinds of symmetry. But what we're interested in and the root of that comment is just that there is an asymmetry a very specific one that we're concerned with, and we're wondering what is it that is causing that asymmetry. Like, look, the question is, like, what what is it that explains the differences in your behavior towards Brie and cows? Okay, well, there's multiple factors in my behavior, but the one I think you want is I'm careful around human genes. Right, okay, but why? Because human genes are well known for creating intelligent minds, whereas cow genes are not. Okay. I mean, so <clears throat> there's a few problems there. The first one is, like, what sort of reasons do you usually use for the inference that human genes cause minds? Uh, like science and philosophy and people being no, able to No, no, no. That's not I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not asking you for, like, the general scope of the very abstract field which we might use i'm asking you for the specific reasons why if i gave you you know an arbitrary human why do you think that that thing has a mind like don't don't give me those kinds of like bullshit answers, like please. do i get to talk to them or just see a human and i say okay well i've talked with a lot of other humans before what do you want sure you could say that but does that reason that causes the impression that there's a mind there apply in the case of someone with a severe mental Uh, most people with mental disability, I'm just going to say yes, right, but right, for but, a case like right, three as uh, presented, right, uh, right, but again, then when I ask you these I'm questions, when I, when, I, when I ask you this question, I'm, I'm asking you about an extreme marginal case where that doesn't apply. Do you think that that exists in some setting? Uh, I'll, I'll grant that premise. I don't know. You don't know? I mean, like there's, like, like what, what are the usual features that you would look for? Like, for example, if you think I have a mind, like, what are you looking for in, in me? Uh, intelligent conversation is the easiest place to start, usually. Right. And leaving leaving aside that intelligent in here is going to be really problematic to define intelligence on the basis that there's intelligent conversation going on. Um, we'll leave that aside for a moment. Do you think that that applies if you were talking to someone like Brie? No. Right, uh, but then if it can't be that case, like why, why would you bring up, um, well, why would you bring up most humans in the case of Brie then? Because the thing that applies to most humans doesn't apply to Brie. There's a direct asymmetry. I can't because of the uncertainty case. of my knowledge, I'm going to be careful with all humans just to be on the safe side. Yeah, but again, now we're back to the asymmetry. I, I, it's not clear to me why you would select 
to be careful in the breed case, but not be careful in the cow case. You haven't shown any reason for that because as we've just pointed out, the reasons that you use for some other group of beings doesn't work in the breed case, just like it also doesn't work in the cow case. And so it actually isn't a justifying reason for the asymmetry. Brie has different genes, which are frequent causes of intelligence. So even if it looks like there's no intelligence, I might be wrong. Maybe they caused it and I'm not realizing it. Well, yeah. what I'm interested in is why you think that the genes are the relevant factor here. Because earlier you said it was intelligent conversation and now you're switching to genes? Genes are something I take into account because of the uncertainty no, but, of my but, knowledge. No, it is that, hard to judge what is intelligent. Right, but you're flip-flopping between exactly. answers. Do you understand how you're doing that? I think you're bringing I, up multiple issues at once, and it's hard to answer. No, because I asked I, you clearly I, at the beginning. I have, to, I have to just try one more thing, because here, here yeah, there's, there's just a really easy test for, like, is this guy being honest or is this guy being dishonest? Okay. You remember how at one point you said there's no symmetry breaker in practice, right? Kiri? Kiri, let me make this simple. If you ignore me in my own server, you're going to get banned. So if you so want to just provide an answer. Might, an answer. He might have you. Kiri, Kiri, can you hear uh, Isaac? No, I muted him after he was okay. yelling profanity Pete, don't, me. don't. Can you unmute him, please? Just... Just unmute him. Oh, d don't so ask him politely, politely. Tell him that if he doesn't unmute, he'll be banned. I'll give him 15 seconds. No, 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 you're gonna, 15 seconds and you're going to get a ban. Just fucking unmute him for a second, please, so we can have this conversation. Like 10? 10. 10 seconds. Kerry, can you please unmute this He's guy? Unmuted. He's unmuted. He's unmuted. He's unmuted. Okay, okay, so there's a very easy test that we can apply here to just see if this guy's being dishonest, right? Kerry, do you remember when you said that there's no symmetry breaker in practice? Uh, I think we had a misunderstanding. Do you remember when... You see how you also just didn't answer me there? That's why I'm getting mad at you. It's because you don't give clear answers. Do you remember... I'll ask you again the same questions. You can actually answer this time. Do you remember when you said there's no symmetry breaker in practice? I don't think my, those were my exact words, but something like that, sure. Oh, I don't know if I can quote you to the word, but this, the proposition that you were putting out is that in practice there is no symmetry breaker even if i don't have the word order of the sentence correct do you deny that we have a recording what i was trying to say i'm not asking what you're trying, trying to say i'm not at don't stop trying to filibuster do you remember when you said that i said something along those lines what you said is that there's not a do okay so do i have to go and listen to the recording and come back is that actually what you're going to force me to do right now? There's also another easy way to do this. I said can... yes twice. I don't know okay. why you don't go on. <laughs> because you don't give clear answers. So yes, you remember when you affirmed, whatever the exact language was, affirmed the proposition that there's no symmetry breaker in practice, right? I said something along those lines. I think we had a No, I'm asking, I'm asking if what you said was that proposition regardless of what the exact phrasing was that was the proposition being expressed because that's what you're being asked about right the practical symmetry breaker what is it you said there's not one there's not a symmetry breaker in practice symmetry breakers are for in principle things okay we all remember you saying it why are you playing like why are you doing this do you remember saying that or not don't say i said something roughly like that stop trying to leave yourself a weasel door because if you really force me to i'll just go and get the fucking quote i don't like when people try to weasel okay do you remember affirming the proposition that there's no symmetry breaker in practice yes or no just give me a yes or a no i think i said i wasn't using just a symmetry breaker. give me a yes or a no else. just give me a yes or a no instead of weaseling just a yes or a no would be great I think the thing you're trying to represent me as saying is wanna, not what I meant. You, you, okay, do you want to give me a yes or a no so I understand? When when you said, or, look, did you earlier affirm the proposition? Look, is your goal Curie, speaking or is Curie, it Curie, out? Curie, did, my goal right now is to see if you're capable of admitting that you contradicted yourself because that's going to expose whether you're honest or not. Someone who doesn't have a massive ego, who's being honest, who's just going to recognize they said P and not P. 
that's going to be like, okay, maybe he is being honest and he's just not tracking, right? But if you're trying to resist like this, and if you won't acknowledge the contradiction, if it's impossible to tease you it out like of you, to do this in I, think, I think that does a lot of work towards showing that you're being dishonest. So I'll ask you again the same question, right? Because some of us don't forget what we're asking, no matter how many times we get weaseled on. The question is, do you affirm, do you agree, right, that Earlier in the conversation, you affirmed the proposition that in practice there's not a symmetry breaker. Yes or no? Don't give me any word except yes or no. Would you like to do this in text? Okay, so we can Curie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you one last chance. And if you do not provide an answer, if you do anything other than I'm not give me a clear answer, answer as you then you will be banned. I don't right? agree. So with the, question, the question, okay, has, ahead, the question me, has, me, the question has, the question has a yes or a no answer, and I would like you to provide the one that you think is accurate. Now, did you earlier in this conversation affirm that there isn't a symmetry breaker in practice? Yes or no? Beware, if I hear any other word than I yes or no, ambiguous. yep, you're gone, you're gone. Okay, okay. Uh, Curie, so you're clearly a dishonest actor. We don't have any interest in dishonest actors in this server. Learn to fucking handle yourself and we're gonna upload this on the internet to humiliate you. Have a good one.